That's a lot of books. Yeah, you'll need to borrow half of these on your card so I don't get in trouble for hogging them. Maybe we should just borrow one at a time. I don't think we'll get through them all before the exams. Not with that attitude. Damn it, this one's got no answers. What year is it? 2012. Blame my dad. Why? He got really angry at me one time because I kept looking at the answers. So he ripped them out and hid them, but forgot where he put it. So it's still in your house? No, I ended up finding it, but I checked it so we could keep looking for it together. Did you throw it into your neighbor's bin like I tell you to? I thought that was just for report cards. What? I use the bins for everything. Report card, parent-teacher letters, lunch, my mom's brooms. Brooms? Why- so funny then? Show me. It's funny if you read it from the beginning. Desiree, I just read like 10 pages without looking up a single word. Do you know what this means? No. This means it's too easy! Well, what should I be reading then, Mrs. Smarty Pants? Well, mature books filled with big words that you don't understand. Paul Jennings, this stuff is too scary. Well, everything's scary if you compare it to the Rainbow Magic Petal Fairy series. Besides, Jennings is like Australia's very own Shakespeare. At least we forget about Anne Griffiths. Grif Grif you know what I mean. Bridget, I heard you can also get into a selective school by being really good at sports. Maybe we should try that instead? Who told you that? Uh, I don't know. Someone was talking about it somewhere and I just so happened to hear it because I was there. Uh, okay. Well, even if that was possible, I think I have a better chance in getting in with my brains, you know? <laughs> what? Nothing. You don't deserve it. What? Well, you don't deserve it if you get in that way, you know? That spot should be reserved for someone who actually studied hard. Like, how hard is it to throw a ball through a hoop? 